we have breaking news. I have a little bit of a shorter oh. pop news today. Why? But it's going to be fantastic. Don't you worry about the whys. I mean, Just under it's a little a short of technical stuff happening, but it's really good. Okay. So are you ready? Oh, ready. Nice. All right. Take big build up here. Starting with I, you know, I love flying the friendly skies. Uh -huh. You know, don't you love seeing those old school flight attendant uniforms? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. now, thank you, Zach Posen, Delta taking off. The fashion runway with the help of you, Zach, unveiling their exclusive uniform collection set to be worn by over 60,000 Delta employees. Airline customer service agents, flight attendants, ramp agents will be ramping it up, if you will. Technicians even will don the custom range, bursting at the seams with hidden details, like a rubber grip to make sure that your shirts stay tucked in while serving those cocktails. Blazers with walkie-talkie pockets. Ah, hey, I would like a blazer with a walkie-talkie. I just want the walkie talkie. <laughs> and sewn down lapels. Oh, the oh, outfits. That's oh. a great idea as well. Although I like to cut kick up the mm -hmm. lapel every yeah. year and now. Um, the outfits are designed in three shades. They're called Plum, Thistle, and Cardinal. Mm -hmm. Pose in who has dressed Carrie Washington, Claire Danes, Reese Witherspoon, and now all of those technicians mm -hmm. and agents. Uh, he says in a statement, we wanted Delta employees to look glamorous on the job. They do a terrific job mm -hmm. without sacrificing functionality mm -hmm. or style. I'm a million miler. I'm a million miler yeah. on Delta. Million. Oh, wow. Miler. I grew up in the South. Yes. That's our but Ready when you are. Right. Delta yes. is ready oh. when you are. But Something great. special. Isn't that cute? <laughs> that's a different airline. That's a different airline. Right, right, right. No, right. all of us they are. look great, though. Great yeah. job. They really good. Nice job, Zach. Yep. Uh, also in pop news this morning, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominations are out this morning. Woo! And it's a real who's who of 80s and 90s music legends. We're talking Pearl Jam. Tupac. Oh. Right there. And Jane's Addictions, they are said to be the three leading contenders. In order, by the way, I don't know if you know this, to be eligible for this massive honor, the talent must have released their first recording, wait here, no lo no later than 25 years before the nomination year. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all of these guys it's have been in the biz a very long time. I know, it feels like just yesterday I was listening to my first Pearl Jam song. I know. <laughs> also on the list, Depeche Mode, Joan Baez, Janet Jackson, Miss J, and Journey. Oh, don't stop believing. Fans, cast your votes. One a day you are allowed to vote from now until December. 5th, and that is your modified pop music. Modified. Pick. What a list. 25 years Great ago, list, Pearl right? Jam, Depeche Mode, Janet, Janet Jackson, Jackson, 25 years ago. I know, it's, taking, the it's taking me uh, through a, sort of a, yeah. a mental calendar of you my know, youth. Listen to Tupac is taking me back. To the Tupac is? Yeah. Are you going to catch, are you casting your vote right here, right now? I'm on it. Okay. I'm on it. All right, there you go. What are you doing, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> she's just she's having a moment. Yeah, she's enjoying California love That's right now. That's right, I'm feeling it.